Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Predicting Tranquility. This time, yes, finally, with graphics, we have leaderboards at the end, we're back to normal, finally, um, Booth set up a very nice package for me, um, it's, it's very cool, it, it looks the same on your end, but it's a lot less work than it was in the past, so, um, big thanks to Booth for that. Um, but, we're back, uh, regular show this time. We're going to cover all 41 matches, uh, all 82 teams, each are going to get a little bit of spotlight. This time we're going to see all three scores, so each one of our scores for each and every match is going to be shown on the screen. Um, I'm joined today by Navito and Phoenix. What's going on, guys? What up, what up? I'm uh, just here. <laughs> yeah, welcome back, Navino. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for dragging you in for another hour of this, but you know I'm glad to have you here. <laughs> I, I, have, I, haven't, I haven't eaten. I'm being I'm being kidnapped and held hostage by uh, <laughs> Tranquility <laughs> <of> GG. <laughs> oh my god. Um <laughs> so let's just like, you know, I'm excited to show off the graphics and stuff. Um I'm excited to be back to a normal cast, so let's just jump right into it. Um hold on. Give me one second. Alright, so let's go ahead. Navino, what did you have for Harmony uh just EU Harmony. So, I had Dino Nuggies beating Brig Divers 4-0. Um, I think Dino Nuggies is just far and away the best team. Um, I had Asir actually getting an upset win for Celsius 5 from... And it seems, I, I, it seems Phoenix agrees with me, but a little closer. I have a 3-1. Phoenix has a 3-2. Um, and then you have Celsius as well. Um, we all... And I realized I didn't cover this at first, but that we all predict Dino Nuggies to win. The only person that has Brig Divers taking a map, though, is Phoenix. Um, then Hive Mind versus Subterra. I don't really know what to think because I haven't seen Subterra play. They're a new team. I have 3 1. Nerf has 3 1. And then Phoenix is like, you know, feeling lucky putting uh, money on, down on uh, good old Subterra. And then Hope Guardians was EG Dragneel. Nerf has an upset, upset potential over here, while I think Hope Guardians will just continue their their winning ways. Yeah, I'm I'm not too certain about a lot of EU. I think you know we're still only two weeks in. There's a lot of new teams. I think a lot is still up in the air. Um, but uh, Phoenix, I wanted to ask you real quick uh, about your score, Hive Mind versus Subterra. Um, do you have any inside information that made you pick the upset, or are you just feeling lucky? Uh, I'm, I'm sort of feeling lucky, but at the same time, like, um, I feel like if, like, uh, Subterra were to, like, um, start playing in, uh, games like this, um, I think Hivemind would be, like, the one team they could, like, possibly get their first win for. Okay. Um, Navino, did I cut you off? I feel, I feel like I did. Um, no, nah, you're good. You're good, okay. fam. Uh, my okay. my brain is my brain is scattered. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. So is mine. <laughs> um. So let's just kick it straight over to um Harmony Orem A. Uh. So the first match is you know we don't have anyone. Uh. Jersey Boys dropped out the other day, and so eh. we all we all went with Kusanagi 4-0 here. Um. Next match is Chinchillas versus Big Bang Buccaneers. Uh, me and Navino going with a 4-0, however, Phoenix giving Chinchillas the map. Um, and then the Phoenix, final... Phoenix, you think you're gonna drop a map, bro? Wait! <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen our record on King's Row? We haven't won since stage one in last season. Wait, really? That, that's, that's fair, hilarious. actually, yeah. yeah. Chinchillas could just pick But King's you have the GOAT Jewish Missile on Ryan. The GOAT. <laughs> that's not even, like, a joke. He is the GOAT. Anyway. He, yeah, he yeah. is. He is. Um, and then the final match was Geometric versus Omnic Boogaloo, all of us having a sweep there. Um, honestly, this is a pretty standard pool. I mean, obviously, we can't pick one of the matches since, you know, there isn't another team there. Um, but these other two matches, I think, um, Big Bang and Geo have had, like, a pretty solid season, despite Big Bang being 0-2. Both of those are reverse sweeps, so, you know, not the end of the world, um, even though it might be upsetting. Um, not the end of the world, but Chinchillas and Omnic Boogaloo, you know, they haven't had the greatest start, um, but, you know, maybe they, maybe they could take a map. I, I like that, I like that pick, uh, Phoenix, even if it is a little bit, uh, self-doubtful. 
Um, this, this man's betting against himself, bro. <laughs> He's got like. I, I mean, you also you, know. you also don't want to uh, like full send your own nah. team. Cause... Well, okay, I feel like there's two worlds. Either like you go in with all the confidence in the world, and it's like, oh yes, the luminous foxes will four o doodles, or it's like anyone that has ever been coached by me knows how I feel about this. You either are all in, or you're not there at all. Yeah, exactly. I, like, you either go 4-0 your direction or 4-0 the other direction, I think. Like, I mean, unless it's, like, you think it's genuinely going to be a close match. But, I That's mean, funny. you know, <laughs> King's Row, you know, the curse might continue this week. Um, Phoenix, though, let's move over to Harmony Orem B. Uh, what are the matches here? Um, so, first off, we have Chicago Mafia taking on Fighting Potatoes. Uh, I'm the only one that have Potatoes uh, taking... The fifth map with a two three, um, everyone else has three one. Um, Strix versus Zoactic Penguins probably like um, one of the big matches in this uh, pool. We all have um, two three in favor of uh, GP, and we have Melovat Gaming versus FBRD. And um, me and uh, NRFT have um, Melovat taking the win but uh Navino has FBRD winning out in map five. Does it say that on the sheet? That might be reversed. No no I've yeah yeah. I you have do? FBR Oh wait, no it is reversed. So I have FBRD winning uh, oh, okay. three two. Not Melobot winning three two. My bad um, then okay. I think mine and Phoenix's prediction is switched here because yes. you have Melobot winning three two. I have FBRD winning three two. Yep. According yep. to the sheet. You guys are right. Um, so while I'm, while I'm fixing that real quick, um, you know, we all, we all went for a 3-2 in favor of the Penguins, um, but I want one of you guys to sell me on Strix here. Uh, how, how can they get the dub here? Because, you know, it is a very close match. I think we're non-hog comps, that'll be real. I just have no faith in the hog comps. But, you know, uh, as they have said on the podcast, they live to defy expectations. I just, you know... I'm hyped for GP. That's for me. Oh, mm -hmm. the, the um, from in, uh, insider information, because uh, PPV does do warm-ups with Strix, I feel like Strix are, like, pretty good. They always, like, give us a good match uh, before games. So I feel like this is, like, one of those, like, really close games where it's going to be, like, maps are going to be won off of, like, a few seconds. I, I feel like this is going to be like the closest game we've had um in this division yeah definitely i mean you know there there have been some pretty close matches um in the harmony tier but i think this is a battle of the juggernauts i mean last week we saw ace high versus um versus flashbacks it started off pretty close but i think towards the end ace high kind of ran out of steam i think this could go like back and forth the entire time and i think it's a series i'm really looking forward to um, but Navino, let's move down to Harmony Indigo A. Yeah, so we got Insidious with Ragnarok Freya. We all have Insidious winning. I feel like the, you know, Bowser talked about this. Every game except any time Koala plays has been a three, like a map five. Yeah, this is like my uh, favorite pool because it's just all map fives and then Koala sweeps. You know, like this yeah. is like a very fun pool because you never know what to expect. So I, I'm going with Insidious 3-2 um, based on how, like Freya... Like, has gone to map five the last two games, but then also lost to a team that Insidious already beat, I want to say. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. I don't know how that bows, but, like, since everything's gone to map five, like, truly this could go anyway. Yeah. Uh, then you got Clairvoyance 07 Titanium. We all have 07 Titanium winning. Um, I have 3-2, but I'll be real. I The more and more I think about it, the more and more I look back on, like, the two teams Qualis played because, like, I, I've watched those games. I think Clairvoyance actually could take the win over uh, 07 Titanium. It just all depends on who's clicking that day for them. Uh, and then we have Chrysalis for Koala Kings, and we all have a 4-0 in favor of Koala Kings. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, there's not really a whole lot to say here. I mean, there's like, it's just, they haven't dropped a map yet. Yeah. And the team, they just 4 0 literally went to map 5 with Chrysalis. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. I mean, it is kind of hard. I mean, when every single match is literally a map 5, and then Koala Kings is 4-0-ing everybody else, I mean, 
I it's just hard, yeah. Yeah, I've said it before, like I enjoy patterns, um and you know the pattern recognition goes very hard in this pool. So it does. <laughs> it does. That's so true. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it up. <laughs> Until something changes, I'm keeping my answers the same. Um, you know, this is probably the group that map diff is gonna matter the most. It is, like, yeah. All these three twos, it's like unless Insidious just goes like four one or something, and then it, it, it's just it's interesting. it's a really cool group. If like if it does keep up where Koala Kings is four owing everybody, like even if um Insidious go like four and one or, or yeah, four and one, if they're winning all those matches in map fives, they could there could genuinely be a team who's four and one with a plus zero map differential in A pool. Which would, oh yeah wow actually wow that's wild that'd be really fun to see i mean it's just it's so close between these teams and i love it <laughs> um but moving on to indigo b um phoenix take it away uh, oh wait sorry so... sorry this is me isn't it <laughs> <laughs> I, I i do this wrong every time my bad um that's all again. <laughs> okay so the first match is normal con x versus ace high uh, we all went for ace high. Me and Navino 3-1. However, Phoenix went for 2-1, giving them a little tie, which is pretty interesting. Um, or the Norwal flashbacks game. <laughs> yeah, that, that's exactly my yeah. thought process. <laughs> no, I like that. I mean, that, that makes sense. Um, moving on to the next match, though, it's 3.5 versus Obfuscation. Uh, again, we all went with Obfuscation here, um, but I went with 3-1, whereas Phoenix and Navino went for 3-2. Uh, and the final match, we all have flashbacks uh, taking this. Oh, wait, this is reversed. Um, it should be all flashbacks taking this rather than Fahrenheit. <laughs> um, all 3-1. <laughs> Still working out the kinks of this new system. Um, you know, I picked it up yesterday. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing, but, you know, we'll get there. <laughs> I... It's just, like... It's hard to be a fan of F nine seven two in this because it's like even though I like I feel like flashbacks kinda like how Spuds was last season where they just can't get a four of to save their lives. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, like they literally so far I they haven't swept the team yet, including the preseason. Um Yeah. They have not three owed anyone or four owed. Which I mean, you know, is Kind of something you would expect um, out of, like, a team that historically has been, you know, they get those pretty commonly in the past. Um, but right here, this season, uh, they, they've struggled to get it. So I gave Fahrenheit a map, and I'm assuming that's why you guys gave him the map as well. Um, but definitely favoring flashbacks in this one. Bubba Wyatt, uh, Bubba Wyatt DPS can only go so far. That's true. Yeah, he can only carry them yeah. so much. <laughs> um, Let's kick it down, though, to uh eu discord uh this is this is phoenix <laughs> yeah okay so um our first match is berserk versus mythical uh kitsune and uh we all predicted the one three in favor of mythical uh and then we have pay to win versus dragon's aura a which will be um a little over the place um me and Nerfed have pay to win winning, uh, but uh, Navino has Dragon's Aura with the upset, I assume, with the uh, three two. Yeah. Um. And before then... we move on to the other two matches, Phoenix, just real quick, I wanna mm -hmm. I wanna get your opinion on this match, uh, Navino, because like I mean I don't know, paid to win has kind of they've shown a lot of success last season, and this season despite being one and one, um, I think that they're picking up kind of where they left off. So I'm curious where uh. Where do you stand on this match? Oh, sorry. Which one? I uh, Dragon's Aura versus Paid to Win. Sorry. Oh, and on the podcast, I'm a, I am think Dragon Aura, I picked them as my team to look forward to later. So they went 3-2 versus Death Watch, which is a pretty good team. So like an undefeated team. So I think this is where they get their first win. All right. Yeah, that, All right. that's fair. Um, you, can, you can go ahead then, Phoenix. Yeah, and then we have the uh, Feeders Bowl with Feeders Divided versus Feeders United. Um, we all have Feeders United winning, but um, I go for a much quicker match with 3-1, and Nerf and Nuveno both have a five-map series. It's and then to round it all off... I said 3-1, you know, contradicting myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, there but, is, yeah, there is to round it all off... Messed that up, but, you know. No, no, yeah. it's, it's correct. I'm just, I'm just dumb. <laughs> 
<laughs> so yeah, and then we have a uh, Cam versus Death Watch. Uh, me and Nerf have four O for Death Watch, and Navino has Cam surprisingly taking a map off of Death Watch. Yeah, I feel like Death Watch is just can't four O from looking at and like. I think they got a forfeit week one. I want to say. Let me look. Did they? They four O. No, the four O paid to win. Oh. Okay. I don't know. I. I'm rooting for the underdog here. I don't know what I was thinking when I did this thing, but rooting, for, rooting the for the underdog to get a map. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> let's right. go. Yeah, I mean, you know, let's let's see it. I want to see it happen. Um, moving over though to NA Discord A or M A. Um, this is yeah, Navino. I got I gotta orient myself. I'm like actually all over the place right now. But uh, yeah, this is Navino. Oh, we're on Orm A. So, Monarch Galactic Gibbons, we all have 4 0 for Gibbons. I feel like that's pretty standard. Loki versus Castaways, I think this is an interesting game. Mm -hmm. uh, me and Nerfed have Loki winning 3 1. Uh, Phoenix has the Cosmic winning 3 2. Just haven't been super convinced by Cosmic. Then, Deep Dish Hammerhead, four, we all 4 0s across the board. As I said on podcast, I don't think Deep Dish dropped another map this stage. Gibbons was a real challenge, and they stopped them. Yeah, I mean, I, I can admit that um, <laughs> they did. Um, but Phoenix, um, you know, Castaways, they've had a shaky start, to say the least, yeah. especially compared to where they were last season. Um, so uh, wh what's, uh, what's your thought process behind picking them to win against Loki, who've honestly looked pretty solid this season so far? Um, you know, part of it might be to spite uh, Time Monster, but... Uh... Uh... Just a bit, uh, but also, um, I think Cosmic has been starting to look a bit um, better slowly over time. I think there were some uh, issues early on uh, that got resolved from what I've seen um, in Space Pirate Orcs, but I think they'll come back a bit stronger in this season. I don't know if they'd be like a top four team, but I think they're going to come back better than uh their first like few weeks have been like yeah i mean it, it's definitely a slow start but you know if if i were to say any team um is going to like improve uh i know this team has the talent i know they have the coaching um you know i i trust in this team i i trust that castaways can pull off something and uh yo you go navina oh. I don't know. Like I, I felt that way after they lost to Gibbons because I think Gibbons it's a it's a quality loss, but losing to Hammerhead, I don't know. I don't think Hammerhead's gonna compete late season. I, I honestly, know. my thought process after seeing that match was like, I just wanted to, you know, I want to know how much we're just sleeping on Hammerhead. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know, like. They they took um Loki to five who like we're considering Loki like a pretty all right team, and then the, yeah I would they, say an all right team yeah yeah, and I mean you know upsets happen you know some some True. some good teams will lose here and there to teams that you wouldn't expect um, but you know I I think there is genuinely a factor of we could be sleeping on Hammerhead um so you know I kind of want to see where these two teams end up at the end of the stage uh, maybe I'm wrong maybe I'm right but uh yeah. Yeah, it's just like when I look at the group, I feel like the like to me right now, like the win everyone should get really is Monarch, and then Loki. Like and right now, like it goes like Deep Dish Loki, sorry, sorry, Deep Dish Gibbons, uh, Loki, Cosmic, I guess. No, sorry, Loki Hammerhead, and then Cosmic Monarch, based on how games, how I think stuff's gonna go, but. So they're going to need to get a quality win over uh, Deep Dish or beat Loki here to make me rethink how I view stuff. Yeah, uh, definitely. I mean, I, I, you know, I think whoever it ends up being in the Elim pool, I think that they're going to have a pretty good run. Um, whether it's Monarch, whether it's um, Castaways, whether somehow it's Loki or Gibbons, um, I, I think mm -hmm. any one of those teams... Uh, you know, this is this is a stacked pool, so you know, not not anything to scoff at. Like if they go one and four, you know, not not that big a deal, I don't think. 
Um, but let's move it over to Discord or B. Um, so our first match, uh, Phoenix and I have Thunder Duckies beating Adelaide in five, whereas Navino, um, <laughs> sweep. Um, I went back and forth on this match. I could not decide, and eventually I just ended up giving it to Thunder Duckies. I think these teams are both pretty solid. Um, but you know, I, I think I think they're I think they're very close. Um, I, I have faith in Swifter's DPS. The Joe, they have the Joey DPS line from last season. I didn't and... even. Oh my god, I didn't even consider that. I forgot that they signed Swifters. Yeah, they have Swifter's Tannic DPS line, which, like, them and Cosmic's DPS line was the best line of the tier. I'm very confident. I like, and obviously I have bias because I'm really good friends with both of them, though. But yeah, that's yeah, that's interesting. I completely forgot that Swifters rejoined. Um, you know that that. Yeah. That would probably sway me the other direction, but um, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna change it for now. I'll stay with yeah, my prediction. Fair. Um, the next match though, we have MI7 versus Reminiscence. Me and Phoenix have Rem taking or have MI7 taking a map. Um, but Navino, what's this with the uh the three two for MI7? Uh, I knew you both were gonna pick Rem. Oh, so you just wanted to be different? Uh, oh, okay. I wanted to be different a little bit, plus I do have faith in MI7. Okay. Uh, also, I have number one Reborn hater. That's true. Uh, shout out to Reborn <laughs> chat. Um, I think in terms of, like, who can compete with Rem, it's definitely MI7. So if mm -hmm. it doesn't go the distance, I'll be disappointed. I think, especially now, like, if I talked on the podcast about, like, preparation timelines and everything much better now like i think mi7 is gonna be more prepared than they were in preseason finals okay yeah i mean i could definitely see that um i think these teams kind of like the thunder duckies adelaide match i think they're both um very close in terms of where they stand right now for me um uh, i mean they they had a pretty good um preseason finals so you know who's to say that this <clears throat> who's to say that this time it won't be a little bit closer um the final match i mean skella dropped out so Poseidon get a get a forfeit win this week. Um, not a whole lot to talk about there. Yeah. Um, so let's just move it over to Discord Indigo A. Oh, is that me? Um, no? no, that's Phoenix. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, so for um, Indigo A, we have Redacted versus uh, Steel Team Spuds, and we all have the 3 1 for Spuds. And then we have Space Created versus Joey Esports. Uh, we all have Joey Sweeping, Space Created, for O. And then we have Nemesis versus Vampires. Uh, me and Nerf have Nemesis winning, and uh, Navino has Vampires winning as well. Uh, um, and then we have Avalon versus Hades. Oh, sorry, that's, uh, uh, that's you, you, the next one. You went too far. You went too oh, bad. my bad, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, no worries. Reel it back. <laughs> Sometimes I just have to read from a list. Yeah. yeah, no, I get it. Um, Yeah, I think... I don't know. I don't think any of these matches are too special. Um, Besides Nemesis versus Vampires, I think it's going to be a, a pretty good one. Um, I, I think the two teams are, are pretty close at the moment. Uh, I, went, I went with Nemesis because I know some of their players. I... I'm part of the like parent org that kind of um, took them in, um, so you know I, I trust that org uh, obviously since I'm like a member of it. Um, you know, I I guess it's a little bit of bias, but you know, <clears throat> I I can still see them taking it either way. I'm on the Nemesis uh, Hopium train, so <laughs> we'll see. Um, moving over though to Discord Indigo B, uh, Navina, what do we have? Is it you? Did I, I, did I, I mess up again? <laughs> no, uh, no, I just can't read. Okay. Um, <laughs> Avalon versus Hades. Uh, me and so Nerf has the upset for Hades. I think that's a bit of hopium too. And then me and Phoenix both have Avalon winning. Phoenix with three one. I think if they want to stay in tight, like a contender contention, right? They need to four zero. I think they're the team to beat, and I think they will four zero. Ups, Upsilon, Upsilon, whatever you want to call them, versus Adrenalines. Uh, I have... So, Nerfed has Adrenaline winning 4-0. And then me and Phoenix have 
Reckless winning 3-1. Interesting. I, I feel like the hoping for nerf is off, is off the charts today. And then you have Doodles, F214 versus Doodles. We all have Doodles winning 3-1. Yeah. If I'm being honest, I haven't watched a single match in this pool. So I don't really know how any of these teams are. Um, I'm kind of just going off of name recognition, I guess. Um, Hades is part of the, the Poseidon Zeus org, so I, I recognize them a little bit more than uh, <laughs> a little bit more than Avalon and Adrenalines. Um, I know some of the players on that team. Uh, Khan's a very good player. He he was a he was a DPS for Luminous last season, and I think he's on main support now. Um, yeah, I really just don't know what I'm talking about with this pool, if I'm being, if I'm being completely honest, so, yeah. Uh, I've watched, I, I really have just scrim bucks to go off of, mm -hmm. as well as just the fact that, like, Hades played some teams in this here close, and Avalon have yet to drop a map, so. That's true. Uh, I think they'll continue to do this, and, like, I think Doodles is just gonna win, because... Yeah, the, 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 the next yeah. closest team to Doodles is just is Upsilon, is Upsilon and Adrenalines, and then I think F214's bottom of the group. What yeah. like I think the real t thing for number two will be is the when Hades and Doodles will play. Yeah, I I think Doodles is really the only team that I'm like confident in right now, because every time that I have not been confident in Doodles in the past, it has come back to bite me. So, uh, you know, I'll I'll have to watch the matches and come back next week with actual opinions on these teams um <laughs> but but for now those are my scores smile and wave smile and wave. <laughs> <laughs> um moving up though to trance tier for orem um the first match is the sydney sunsets versus guangzhou gangsters all of us going in favor of the gangsters however phoenix and i think that they will take a map and they know how to sweep um the second match is billings boomers versus death cards um both teams that you know, kind of had a shaky start. Um, both teams you kind of expected to... I don't think either anybody would have expected both of these teams to be 0-2. Um, I know a lot of people had... Hyped. I expected Death Cards, to be honest. You did? Okay. I did. I was a Death Cards hater on day one. <laughs> day one, baby. Um, but I think, like, majority consensus was, like, Death Cards would be pretty solid. Um, same with Boomers. Um, uh, we all have map 5. Me and Phoenix agree that it'll go to the Death Cards. However, Navino, staying true to his word, he is the Death Cards hater, and he has the Boomers winning this one. Um, I also gotta, you know, rep, you gotta rep the org. That's true. Yeah, you know. I I can completely get behind that. <laughs> I gotta um, rep. <laughs> um, and then last match. You know, we've had some we've had some dropouts. It's unfortunate. It is what it is. Um, but four one three will end up getting a forfeit match this week. So. Uh, let's move over though to Azure. Um, Phoenix, yes, Phoenix, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. So, <laughs> I uh, all good. All good. So our first uh, match is Classified versus Palm Beach Bloggers. Uh, we all have Classified winning. Um, I say Palm Beach uh, draws a map, and uh, Nerfed has Palm Beach taking the map as well um then we have decapitators versus crabby crabbers uh we all have 4-0 sweep for decapitators uh last match in this um uh, group is culture versus reckless sigma um nerfed and navino have 3-1 in favor of reckless sigma but i have a close match with uh culture with them winning 3-2 what was your uh, what was your thought process behind that? Uh, I I knew something, but <laughs> I, I forgot something. what it was. <laughs> I, I think I was looking at the head to head. Um, that's fair. I you know I mean that was my excuse for for Indigo B was like I don't, uh, well you know I just didn't have a reason I guess like for getting is a better reason than not having one yeah. at all. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, let's move over though to Indigo, uh, Navino, what do we have here? I have Frostfishers Amnesia. We all have Amnesia winning. I have 4-0, but you know, after 
you know, I'll be real. Maybe it should be a 3-1 because maybe Amnesia is also cursed. Um, <laughs> but Phoenix also has, uh, Phoenix does have a 3-1 in favor of Amnesia. Uh, Devil Dukes, Arctic Foxes, we all 4-0 in favor of Arctic Foxes. Um, Oath versus Li Zhang Legion. You guys have Oath winning 3-2. I have Li Zhang Legion winning 3-1. I think Oath is kind of out of the depth in this tier, so I love the Oath, but also, like, maybe I should reconsider after they took a map off Amnesia. Like, <laughs> that, is, that is true. They like, did really it, well. It is hard. It, Oath is a weird team to predict right now. Um, they are. And so, is it, and so is Amnesia, because, like, what everyone thought was going to happen did not. Very shocking, you know? And, yeah. Well, it was just one map, but, I mean... Bruh. Dark, but, I cannot. Dark Ride pinning into the back line is in freaking <laughs> like branded in my brain. Yeah. Brain. <laughs> That's gonna live in free in mind for a little while as well. Um, but you know, I think Oath, despite being zero and two, um, they've had a rough start. But you know, I'm not willing to count them out. I think that they're still a contender to maybe get like third or fourth. Um, if they like can keep, they can keep improving, because uh, I think I think taking a map off Amnesia is pretty good signs. So you know, you never know. Uh, with Oath. Yeah, it's true. Mm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think you have mine and Phoenix's Pred switched. I think the graphic is just wrong because you guys have been like reading off like every match is fine, and then like for the last one it's like oh I have Navino or like Phoenix has Navino score, but Navino has Phoenix's yeah. score. So I guess those are just swapped around. Um, we'll get that we'll get that fixed for next time. Um, don't worry. Um, but the other new cool thing that we have new and cool. Um, we're back to having this on the cast. Uh, we have weekly predictions. Uh, I've been posting out links every single. Uh, I try to get them out on Sunday if I can. Give you guys some time to fill them out. Um, so you guys have a little bit of time. Uh, they close at 12 a.m. tonight. So make sure that you get your predictions in. Um, but for the last week, um, here are our standings. So coming in at fifth place, we have Toxic with 75 points. In fourth place, actually tied for third place, sorry, is me and Navino with 76. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> definitely. Built differently. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I definitely did not rig this in my favor. I'm I'm completely kidding, but um, moving up to second, we have Luna with 77 points, and in first place we have Capital with 78 points. Um, now if you would like to hear the week one um predictions, I can get those up as well. Uh, number five was Azino, number four was PDK, three was Potato, and second was Yeti, and you know. Capital has kind of been on the tear. Um, he was he was first two weeks in a row, and uh, if we get over to the overall rankings, um, I'll I'll let you guess who's in first. Um, but before that, before that, I didn't fill it out week one. I got I want to preface this. I didn't fill it out week one. <laughs> That's true. Make sure you yeah. fill it out because there like there are a lot of people who are very high up in the rankings despite only having predicted one week. Um, I'm, like, top 10, and I didn't do that great that first week. So, you know, make sure you get your predictions in, because I, genuinely, you can you can get pretty high from just getting a couple matches right. There, there's some people who just get, like, the trans tier matches. That's all they predict, and, like, they're in 15th place. So, you know, get them in. Um, but 5th place, though, is Iconic with 21, 121 points. Uh, this is for the overall, by the way, for both weeks combined. Uh, fourth place is Apathy with 125. In third place, we have PDK with 130. Second place is Mr. Yeti, not budging, uh, despite not being in the top five this week, with 137. And, yeah, I mean, he's kind of the champion right now. We have Capital with 145 points. Um, he's been on the tear. He's he. I was, like, looking through what his predictions. He rarely misses if i'm being honest so you know hopefully by the end of the season he's not on top anymore i don't like to see capital winning i hate capital i hate nostalgia um but you know <laughs> um 
you know, let, let, get get your predictions in. Um, there there is definitely a lot of room for people to people to go up in the rankings. So, yeah. um, before we end the show, real quick, I just want to remind you guys of our feature matches tomorrow at nine CET or three EST. We have the Harmony EU feature Dino Nuggies versus Brig Divers. Uh, then later that night at 9 EST, we have Flashbacks versus Fahrenheit 972. Uh, in, on Wednesday, we have the Trance Match, again at 9 EST, Oath versus the Lijong Legion. Uh, at, on Thursday, 9 CET or 3 EST is the Discord EU feature, Feeders United versus Feeders Divided, the, you know, the dubbed Feeder Bowl. Um, which, like, their logos are also bowls, which is, like, kind of adds to that, but, yeah. you know. <laughs> um, it's the bowl bowl. Yeah, that, it's the bowl bowl, the feeder bowl bowl. Um, then the the last match for this week is on Thursday at 9 EST. Discord NA is redacted versus the SEAL team spuds. So make sure you guys are tuning into those. We also do have um, the... I'm blanking on what it's called right now. Um, the interview show, whatever that one's called, that's coming back. Beat drop. Week. Beat drop. Thank you, Phoenix. I am genuinely all over the place tonight. Uh, the beat drop is back this week on Thursday, so make sure you're tuned in for that. And yeah, um, before we send it off, Navino Phoenix, you guys have anything to say? Um, not really. Good luck. Good luck uh, <laughs> yeah, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck to everybody out there with your matches this week. Um, but yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching, and we'll see you next week.